Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe. Today I'm going to show you how to import um, a design or create a design using um, Embrilliant soft software. I'll link a, uh, or I'll put a link below where you can purchase the software. You can use or do all of this that I'm going to do today in the uh, the Embrilliance Essentials. Um, you don't need anything more than that. You don't need the stitch artist. Um, this is just taking uh, purchased embroidery designs and creating your own. So I'm going to go to my files. I'm going to pick out a number. So I'm going to make a, a birthday shirt. So pick out a number. I've got lots of stuff in here that I've purchased. And I purchase all my um, embroidery designs on Etsy. I like to support my local, or not my local, but my small business friends. Oh, now I have to find what I'm looking for. Probably should have had all this ready before I started the video, but that's okay. It's supposed to be fun and entertaining, and this really isn't fun and entertaining, but we'll get it. Where do I have those at? I scrolled too far, I think. Here it is, right at the top. I have a Janome uh, Memory Craft 500E, so my machine uses the GEF format. Um, I'm going to make a shirt that fits a 4T, uh, it's a 4T shirt, so I'm going to use a 5 inch number and it's going to be for a four-year-old so we're going to open this and there's our four so i'm going to kind of place it up towards the top of the hoop here this here is your is supposed to mimic your hoop so anything inside your this box here will be stitched out anything outside this box it won't let you stitch and it'll probably give you an error so I'm going to make this an applique number four, and we'll put some fabric underneath there to uh, make it a little bit more fun. So I'm going to change these first two stitch out as applique position and applique material. So my sewing machine or my embroidery machine knows that this is going to be my position stitches and then I'm going to place my fabric down and then it's going to tack down my fabric then I'm going to uh, do the satin stitching over top of it so let's pick out a name and I'm just making this as a sample uh, shirt for my shop so let's just make let's just type out a fun name boys name Jackson And then I'm going to pick a font. Um, and Brilliance has fonts already uploaded in, and then you can buy more fonts on um, on Etsy. Let's kind of find a boys font here. And you might hear Malia whining upstairs. She sounds like she's fussing about something. Right, that looks fun and I think that's going to be too big so I need to pick a different size let's do uh, one inch well that looks too small now five inch three inch we'll just adjust a little bit the thing about Embrilliance is it will when you change the size of something it will automatically put more stitches in so it when you change the size of something it's not going to affect 
um, how your stuff stitches out. It's going to add stitches in or take stitches out and it'll stitch out um, perfect pretty much every time. So we're going to line this up. So I'm going to, oops, sorry, I'm going to highlight both of these and group them. To, no, I'm going to, I'm trying to line them up. So I'm going to center them so that the four is centered with the name. And then I'm going to group them together. Go up here and edit, group. So now when I move them, they should be together. And then I'm going to center it in my hoop. So this is going to stitch out um, five by six, or if you look up here, five and seven eighths by six and a half. So I think I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to grab here and open it up a little bit more and center it again. So now I have six and three eighths by seven and one eighth. That will probably be good. So basically six by three or six by seven, sorry. And we're going to stop there. So I'm going to come over here and make sure I have everything in this panel in the order that I want it to stitch out on my machine. So I have my position stitch, my material stitch, my uh, applique, uh, satin stitch, and then my name. And you can go in and change the colors of all of these if you want to. So let's make this like a PJ Masks themed shirt. So let's make it blue because cat boy's blue. So you can then find blue. You can do it like this really long way here. Let's do blue. And his name will, the name will stitch out in blue as well. So everything matches. And so I'm going to save this to my uh, USB and then um, take my USB over to the, I'm going to save stitch file as, make sure I have my USB. We're going to make this for Jackson. And then I'm going to save this. And then I'll just can take my uh, USB over to my embroidery machine and load it up and we're ready to stitch. Here we are stitching up the mock-up of our design we just made on the computer. satin stitching around the number four and then it'll stitch out the name and I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. All right and here we are all finished so I'll get close to it here. Turned out really nice. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.